Hey, what is going on everybody? Sickest here, coming at you with a live Vanilla Enhancement Shaman Battleground commentary. If you guys enjoy this content, win for you that like button, and let me know what class you want to see me play next. So you guys my spec. I'm running a typical spec I run. Points in Concussion, uh, points in Reverberation, and the most important in my opinion, points all the way down into Elemental Devastation. Basically what this does is if you crit a, any spell, you get a 9% increased critical strike chance for melee. So it's very, very good for uh, uh, for enhancement. And then in my enhancement tree, I do not take ancestral knowledge. I think 5% mana is a waste. If you have 5,000 mana uh, and you take 5% of that, you're only gonna get an extra 250 mana. You know, it's really not that much. That's one spell uh, at best. You know, my earth shock alone is 450 mana. So I'd rather have the defense bonus uh, from the shield specialization, or not the defense bonus, I'd rather have uh, the amount blocked by 25%. And then I got points all the way down into Storm Trick. All right, let's get right into this. First off, Hunter, I'm gonna go ahead and ground right away. Get a Frost Shock up. If he traps me, I still have Grounding Totem down. Nice, I ate it. I'm gonna put Earthbind Totem down. Nice, I AoE stunned. And then I'm gonna Sapper Charge this too. Nice, Purge the Paladin. Ground, hopefully I ground, oh, grounded Hodge. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the pally. The weapon I am using is the Earthshaker. Basically, it's an AoE knockdown if it procs, and that's what happened right there. I'm gonna trinket out of this root and this Hodge. Run up title the mage. Wind Fury and proc there. Go ahead and ground again. Dispel all the Paladin's buffs. Yeah, I really, really like this weapon. It's super fun. I do have the option of using a rank 14 axe, which I might use. I also have access to a bunch of other weapons, but I really, really like Earthshaker. It's it's super fun to use. Basically, chance on hit knocks down all nearby enemies for 3 seconds. 22 attack power. It's really not that good. The weapon is actually very, very basic. It drops off of, I'm pretty sure, has a shared loot table across MC, so it can drop off uh, 7 out of the 8 bosses. Alright, rest up. Our team has got the second flag. We got a druid flag carrier, so it's very helpful. We're all grouped out here. We're all grouped up here outside a tunnel. Um, I'll show you guys my gear. I've got full rank 13 set uh, and just stamina gear. Just trying to stack as much stamina as I can on most of my gear. Uh, and yeah, it's very cool. I like the rank 13 set. It's just so iconic. I could run other MC pieces, like I could run the MC helm off of Ragnaros for two crit, um, but I don't because I just like the rank 13 set so much. All right. Gonna stay in the back line here. Wait for them to push in. I'll get a battle battle standard down if I have one. I don't. I'm gonna push in right away, go for Hunter. I kinda just walked through everything. Purge Mage. Spam purge on Mage, ground for my team. If any of my team members are low, I'll toss them a heal. Get Earth Binding Totem out of this. Also put a Tremor Totem down. And this mage comes out of block. Nice, my mace stunned. Ghost Wolf form, run towards them and try and catch up to this Warlock, hopefully I can get a Frost Shock. Catch up to the Mage, nice. I'm going to ground any casts he has, any instant casts. I'm going to Trinket this Root, and then I'm going to swap to Pally. Hopefully I can get a nice AoE stun here, that would be super cool. I got Polyed on, my, on Hodge. I'm going to ground for my teammate. Frost Shock, run up crit. Kill with Frost Shock, I'm gonna swap Hunter. Earthbind Totem's down. Nice, big mace stun proc. I'm gonna Sapper Charge. Nice kill Hunter again. I'm gonna Ground Hodge, if he has it. Now it's time for me to run. I might Health Pie here. I'm gonna go ahead and health pot. I don't know what my healer's doing. <laughs> go ahead and ground for our team. Push up, kick pally, rank one earth shock. Put an earth bind totem down. Purge mage, nice, mace stun proct. And I haven't gotten any heals or resist. Still no heals from the priest. Dang, feels bad. All right, head back towards the team fight. Our druid fly carry is basically doing all the work for us, which is super nice. Gonna put poison cleansing totem down for my team. 
I'm also gonna put a Searing Totem down in case anyone comes close. I'm gonna go ahead and Frost Shock on the Hunter and try and get a double nade with both the Pally and the Hunter. Earthbound Totem down and then I'm gonna place a Grounding Totem in case of Hodge or Trap. No AoE stun, I'm gonna pop my ZG Trinket. Purge any buffs from the Hunter. I'm gonna... Oh, big damage on me, but nice, good heals. I'm gonna heal myself up. Try and heal myself up, nice. Let's go back to the fight, Purge Mage. Ground anything coming in. Nice, and we got a Meteor uh, Impact Stun. We'll back up, that Warlock does a ton of damage. Drink up to full. Wait for our Druid to res. We're not really helping him in the team. We're not really helping him flag carry too much. Uh, their team is mostly just being rezzed and going for team fights. So. Earthbind tone down. He dodged my. I'm gonna try heal. Nice. I got a clear focus casting. Can't be delayed. Frost Shock, I'm gonna place a Grace of Air Totem down. Strength of Earth Totem down, also Grounding Totem. Go ahead, ground for my teammate. Purge anything that happens. I kicked, I grounded and kicked that poly at the end. I grounded that poly. Nice, tons of wind for you. Big damage on Mage. On top, and that's the last flag cap, so. That was a pretty good game. I'm gonna go ahead and probably show another BG. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the Warlock here. Get a Grounding Totem down for my team. Then I'll run up Storm Strike. Maybe I'll go Ghost Wolf and I'll try and get the flag. Um, but I do kind of want to graveyard camp them or just get some general win for your gameplay. I do have access to other weapons. I can get rank four. I have the uh, rank 14 axe uh, and a bunch of stuff like that. If you guys wondering about the server, I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, going to go get flag right now. Doesn't seem to be anyone spawning in. Oh, there's a rogue spawning in. Poison cleansing totem down. Magma totem down. I'm gonna go ahead and get up a flame shock. Oh, nice big proc. I'm gonna title out of that actually. Nice big damage. Rebuff myself. I'm gonna pop a limited invone here. Nice limited invone is kidney. Poison cleansing totem down right before the blind. But he killed the totem. I still have trinket and whip a root tuber. He gouged me. I'm gonna try and just win free. I'm gonna trinket this. Big damage on Winfrey. Nice. I'm gonna sit on top of him too. That's what he gets for dancing on me. Right, let's get the flag. I'll put on Skull of Impending Doom. I'll also put on Rocket Boots. I'm gonna get a full bandage here. Maybe I can run this flag across mid. I'll put on um, the Nomadic Projector and Arena Grandmaster Trinket. I'll try and drink up here while I can. I'm kind of scared the enemy team will start coming towards me. Get Noggin Froggers up as many buffs as I can so that my Ghost Wolf doesn't get purged. But maybe since Ghost Wolf's the last buff cast, I guess I'll get it purged first. I don't really know how that works. Is it the last buff cast or is it just priority? I'm gonna ground right away. Go ahead and purge him. There's Rogue on me. I'm gonna try and free action out of this. Um, but I think I might just die right away. Alright, heading back towards mid here. I'm gonna help out our flag carrier. I'm gonna try and heal him as soon as I can. Poison Cleansing Totem down, I'm going to start healing him. Healing him as much as I can. Grounding Totem down as well. Dispel him of poisons. I'm going to get a Tremor Totem down in case any casts happen. Earthbind Totem to slow everybody. Blind on me, but the Shaman broke it. Big damage. I'm going to go ahead and health, health Pot right away. Slow on the Warlock into a Nade. I got a Mage with he me here though, so he's able to spell any curses. I'll go ahead and get a Grounding Totem down. Ground anything coming at him. Get a Tremor Totem down just in case I get coiled in the Tremor. And then just nice, coiled. Resist. Nice, and the Mage finishes him off. 
Removes my curse too, I'll toss him a heal. I'm gonna heal myself too. Now we're gonna go offense, try and push towards the flag carrier. I still have rock boots on. So I'm gonna basically play my play off of what this mage is doing. I like how he's running the tier two set. He has a chance on hit if he runs the full 8 out of 8 set bonus to get an instant cast spell. So it's like a free palm. So you can run it, a uh, free uh, presence of mind. So you can run it in both frost and fire. And it's really, really cool. Towards the fire character right now. Kind of had a hard time finding him. I think he's up here. Might be going for the flag cap. Hopefully I can stop him. Oh. I was still able to stun him. I pre-tremored that fear, and then I'm gonna rocket boots after him, dispel him of all of his shields, get him in combat too so he can't mount up, earth shock down, I'm gonna gain some rage, and then I'm gonna goblin mortar, so I'm gonna grounding totem, and now I'm gonna gain some rage, goblin mortar, run up with rocket boots, he resists still, nice big proc. Put down Tremor Totem. Nice. Pre-Tremor the Fear. Again. Oh, another proc and a Wind Fury. I definitely have to ground. Try to ground that Mind Blast. Alright, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to put on the Unstoppable Force. I think that'd be a cool weapon to try. It's not an AoE stun, but it still has a similar effect. Chance on hit stun the target for one second. Uh, so it's pretty helpful in BGs, pretty good for solo PvP, uh, and it's pretty easy to obtain since getting exalted with Ultrac Valley is kind of a needed thing, especially as enhancement or any melee DPS. So as long as you have the gold, I think it's like 160 gold, somewhere around there for the Unstoppable Force once you're exalted. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty good weapon to use. So let's see if we can get some clips here. I really like this weapon on Warrior too, because not only do you have the Mace stun effect from Warrior, but you also have the mace stun effect from the mace itself so a lot of extra chances to randomly stun um, that might be bad but it also might be really helpful especially against fighting ranged classes all right getting on hunter here i got elemental devastation hopefully i can get a nice proc grounding earthbind totem nice and i and i procced into a wind fury big damage on hunter Yeah, I really like Unsolvable Force as well. Anything with just an, with a proc chance, uh, like Sulfuron Hammer is pretty cool. It's not the legendary version, but it still has a pretty cool proc chance. Any proc weapons for Shaman, whether one-hander or two-hander, I think is really cool. Because you have a, a, a potential to hit multiple times with the weapon. Um, and so you can get multiple procs or some really cool, or you have increased chance to get procs um, since you hit more often. Um, so it's very, very cool. Headed towards graveyard here. I'm gonna try and go around. I'll also zoom out my camera. I got a, a lot of a lot of comments of people talking about my camera being too far zoomed in, but it's like the majority of the time I'm playing a melee class, so I kind of want to be zoomed in. Also, it's good because you guys could see what my character's doing, and I could also see what other people's characters are doing. All right, gonna get a grounding totem down. Get a frost shock up. Gonna do an earth bind right away. I'm going to try and LOS that, purge him of his demon armor, I'm going to wait before I walk down, I'm going to ground in case he coils, but I did ground, nice, wind fury into a huge earth shock, poison cleansing to tone him down, alright, getting on priest here, I'm going to go ahead and purge any buffs he has, get a slow on him, into a nade, out of this nade, I'm going to Tremor Totem. Man, look at how laggy this guy is. I Tremor Totem preemptively. I'm purging any shields he has. Walk up, I'm going to ground this. And do a big Wind Fury. He silenced me. I Verse Shock right out of the silence. Nice, kicked him. I'm going to pop my Racial here. Into a Storm Strike. Nice, and he's dead. Also pop a Whip a Root Tuber to live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what class you want to see me play next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.